The Black Friday promo is finally now here. We had an insane six hour live stream and I'm gonna summarize all of that in this video. Now we can see by this loading screen, signature signings cards are now here. Now, this has been released at 2 p.m. UK time. Lightning rounds started at 2 p.m. UK time. I believe that we've had them every single hour apart from 4 p.m. UK time. EA took a little bit of a cheeky break, which was quite weird, but we are back. And I believe we did have loads and loads of lightning rounds. We had, <laughs> if we actually go ahead and Twitter and check guys, the amount of packs we've had, I believe we've had like 200,000 amounts of some sort of packs. I think if I'm not mistaken, 300,000 ultimate packs. Let me just check Donk's Twitter because Donk tweeted it out here. 600,000 guys. Forget 300,000, 600,000. 125k packs that is just absolutely insane now i'm going to be looking at the market of course very very big things have been happening now if you take a look at most of these gold meta cards right if we talk about the buy time on these gold meta cards if you take a look at them all of these cards are currently up now we're going to discuss why they are up but in hindsight looking back the buy time for these cards were thursday 6 p.m uk time anyone else says anything else they are completely wrong guys i'm here i'm going to be honest with you guys right yesterday which was thursday at 6 p.m uk time some cards this was between like 3 4 5 p.m uk time let's just say yeah let's say 4 p.m uk time right 1600 this was definitely the buy time if you guys figure out a time machine if you're gonna go back take me with you we can both go together i think there's more important things to do but if you figure out time machine let me know comment down below and we will all join you together and we can go back and buy some cards now is this the end of the world should you be panic buying in my opinion you should not i do think there is still going to be a couple other things i do think reasons people were buying these cards is number one there was fear of missing out that the lowest point has already actually gone fomo of course this is a typical thing some cards are greater uh increasing greater than others if you take a look at cards for example like cristiano ronaldo he's not too much higher compared to someone like neymar now, Neymar could potentially be this high because people are anticipating he's going to be going out of packs on Saturday because we are going to be getting best of team two. Now, there is also people genuinely buying cards because they wanted to play for champs. So these are all fair reasons in good traders videos right in my video when we were talking about these cards, a lot of us did say a lot of us mentioned we are expecting a rise. We are expecting a rebound. I said it myself. We are obviously going to be expecting a big buy bag. I said this could happen, right? It's extremely hard to call when this is going to happen, but definitely we knew there is going to be a big rebound and there's going to be a big buy bag. So am I surprised by this? By no means am I surprised. It happens sort of a lot of this times. It has happened a lot this year. If you were awake that one time when we got those preview packs, 50k preview pack, I believe, after that, right, the morning after, the buyback we saw was even more insane than this. And that was in a window of literally 12 hours. So I also wanted to show you guys what is going to be happening with this Black Friday. These are the Black Friday signature cards. If we actually take a look here, I do think they are quite good. Uh, Diego Carlos, these guys individually had their own rises. If you take a look at them, they had some incredible rises. Diego Carlos had a low point at around 78K, I believe. Renato Sanchez rose like 100K. All of these cards were very, very low. Now, they are notably 35,000 coins is the cheapest one you can get on the market. This was 12K, but then we did actually get the... Benzema flashback SBC that is him Benzema flashback SBC now Fitbin are finally calling the right price because it took them a while to um, have a signature signings requirement but now they've updated it and correctly this card is around 120k I made an Instagram an SBC analysis there was obviously a huge impact of the from this SBC on the cards that on the on the transfer market some La Liga cards there were some massive massive fluctuations if you take a look at our post nine percent Usman Dembele rules breakers even more than that if you take a look at his price now also Vinicius Vinicius had an incredible incredible rise now 
I actually feel sorry for a lot of people because the amount of people on stream on my videos that were asking when to buy this Vinicius even before Benzema was insane. It's almost like EA did it on purpose, but I think it's just a gonna, I think it is just a coincidence. But essentially, this guy was lowest at around 230k. Again, that buy point of Thursday, 5, 4, 6 p.m. UK time. This was the lowest point, right, chat? This was definitely the lowest point. Now, the amount he has rose, though, is completely absurd, but it is also justified because we did see the Benzema SBC, but the Benzema SBC was, couldn't have been predicted. I know there were a couple people sort of saying this is, it could be happening, but I, I, I don't think too many people were like aware of that. I don't think too many people were seriously thinking that we are going to be getting a Benzema SBC. So in no way could have anyone predicted that this Vinicius is going to be rising so much because at 270k, that was already very high. And now he just rose. This highest, I think he reached 370k, which is absolutely insane. Now, if we take a look at the article that EA have said, we've got a clear structure of what is actually going to be happening. I don't think there's anything too important here. There is an engagement streak reward. So I'd recommend completing the Black Friday daily SBCs. I think that's a good idea. We've got the dates here, but in my opinion, it's a better format in the actual menus. We can actually go ahead on the menus here and we can find this format. It's quite nice how EA represented it in this way. And I do think it's a lot easier on the on, on the eyes just visually to see it in this form so best of team of the week team one that was released on thursday that's going to be going out of packs saturday 6 p.m uk time signature signing squad came out at 2 p.m uk time it's going to be expiring tuesday um 6 p.m uk time best of team of the week is going to be coming in Saturday at 6 p.m. UK time. Now, this is very, very important because if you actually take a look at some of these cards, right? If we take a look at Mbappe, Salah, Hyung Min Son, Hyung Min Son, for example, low key, his price was very, very low. If we take a look at him, I believe he was around 220,000 coins. Now he's 200K. A buy point could actually be low key sometime very soon because if you pick this up at 200k right tomorrow saturday 6 p.m uk time he's going to be expiring out of packs we shouldn't see any lightning rounds i believe before sort of 6 p.m i don't think that we are going to be getting light lightning rounds every single hour like at 5 a.m 6 a.m it's quite hard. This is very, very important, but it's quite hard to remember if we do get pre if we do get promo packs that late. I like to believe that they sort of stop around 2, 2, 3 a.m. UK time, but say they do continue regardless, this card is going to be going out of packs Saturday, 6 p.m. UK time. So potentially you could actually maybe get some of these cards. If you can get them really low on bid or snipe or anything like that, maybe these cards are going to be going out of packs. So maybe we could see a rise. Goretzka has been dropping very, very low. Could potentially be a snatch up and there might be some people trying to buy this card tomorrow for foot champs or also actually buying this card because they hope the price is going to be going up but you do need to be careful because people are going to be playing foot champs and they're going to be opening those team of the week packs and that could even cause more supply before the demand is going to be stepping in and before the supply is going to be stopping so do be careful if you are going to be doing that but yeah best of team of the week team two is going to be released now that has actually already sort of been leaked as well i did see sbc tips tweet it so i retweet uh, i re sort of posted what he what his tweet contained it was actual image let me find it here best of team two so credit to him i do believe that this is legit i didn't see it but people said this was leaked by the spanish twitter account so if this is going to be legit neymar uh, benzema as well he's dropped because there's less demand for him and also people are completing the flashback sbc which to be honest is better than this card regardless and then most people have the player of the months but barella is going to be coming gabriel jesus marquinhos mane right these are names that missed out on team one and there's a lot of confidence that their prices are going to be going up but they are going to be coming saturday november 27th 6 p.m uk time so that is very very important to note and then on sunday we are going to be seeing a mini release so there's going to be cards added into packs i believe these going to be the likes of Lorente. I think Lorente is going to be added into packs. He has been leaked already. 
Edward Mendy, I believe is going to be coming as well and a couple other cards. So keep that in mind. I'm expecting probably four cards and they are going to be added into this. And then all of the signature signings promos, to, all of the signature signings cards together, including the mini release are going to be then expiring Tuesday, 6 p.m. UK time. So that is very, very important to know for actual just general trading and when you're, when you're going to be flipping these cards, investing in these cards. Now, if we take a look at this Benzema, I just want to point out here, he is absolutely insane. I love this card. We played some games on stream, three games, seven goals, one assist. Absolute perfect, guys. I love this card. If I can keep up how I'm playing with him, him and Fakir up, up front, it's really, really beautiful, guys. I think if you guys have done Fakir, you can grab yourselves a cheap signature signings card, I think probably from objectives, right? If you can go ahead and complete the Baku, if you don't need him, if you don't have a Bundesliga team, then I think just go ahead and do it. It ends up being quite cheap if you do also have a little bit of SBC fodder sitting around in your club. So I'll definitely go ahead and do that chat just to talk about pretty much when to buy these cards now. Let's say you missed the buy point. I'm just going to refresh to check the check a couple prices on here. But if we if you've missed the buy point, for example, on Neymar Messi, what should you sort of be doing? I do believe that Sunday, apparently there is going to be some sort of preview packs. Maybe that is the rumor going around that there's going to be preview packs on Sunday. I do think that that could actually see a little bit of selling on some of these cards, but I'm not really too concerned. I don't feel like too worried about buying this. There was also a drop off a week or two after Black Friday last year. I know it is quite annoying. You're waiting to buy your team now, but if you missed it, I don't really, I don't really think buying Vinny, for example, at 330k is a good idea. I think it's more logical to actually wait. Uh, Marquinhos was quite high, but he is now coming down a little bit lower because remember there is actual real supply from these lightning rounds and uh, in general for these cards i think just wait wait for them to be supplied let them be supplied onto the market they're going to be here all the way until Tuesday. So even if it's a matter of buying them on Monday, I do think there is still going to be some windows at lightning rounds, sniping, bidding on these cards. I do think it is possible. In terms of making coins, I think on Yeka, Tenali, a couple Road to the Knockout Rule Breakers cards out of packs don't seem too bad. I've also been checking the price of, for example, this Keen. If there is going to be a recovery tomorrow, I do think this Keen maybe could go up. Uh, Vidal, there's a couple cards that have been dropping quite a lot. If we take a look, here um isaac is thirty thousand coins that's absolutely insane i don't really see what has been going on with this card at 6 p.m i think he dropped hugely which just doesn't make any sense at all he, he also dropped loads uh, last night and then he started recovering so i'm not sure if i want to play around with this card it's quite insane it seems like maybe a couple people are holding that card and and investing uh, and um, trying to sell him at once. I don't know if there was some sort of U Europa League draw or anything that came out here and it announced that they're his team are playing some hard team or something. I don't think so. I don't, I don't believe that happened. So I would just stay away from that. Trent has had a huge rise. Trent has had a huge rise. If you look at some cards that are out of packs, but in my opinion, chat. SBC fodder is probably going to be the best thing that you can get your hands on. We refreshed a couple of those cards. They are still dirt cheap, rock bottom. I think if you guys want to get involved in this, a week or two hold for upcoming Foot Freeze promo, I think that's probably one of the safest way you guys could actually make some coins. But if you want to flip cards, maybe out of pack cards, try and track what is going to be happening in the next hour or two on some of the Team of the Week cards with Hyung Min Sun, a couple of those cards. Hope you guys enjoyed Black Friday. Amazing day that Benzema is truly elite. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Truly means the world. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Oh.